Welcome to Electoral Line. Now let's take the same travel from A to B, but along, not along path 1, 2, and 3. We'll call it path 4 directly from the origin to point B. So now, when we take the line integral, we have the vector dot product times dl. And so we have the, all three components. But since we're traveling along that diagonal, and the distance along the x-axis, the y-axis and the z-axis are equal the same, we can say that x must equal y and y must equal z, so therefore x equals y equals z. And then if we take the derivative of all those, you can see that any travel along that angle path, along path 4, the change in x, the change in y, and the change in z must also be the same. So, if we first take the dot product, then we can probably make it a lot easier to manipulate. So let's see what this ends up being. The integral from a to b and we multiply the x components, the y components, and the z components, so we get x squared times dx plus 2yz times dy plus y squared times dz. Now this would of course be a very difficult integral to manipulate, except that we realize that dx is equal to dy is equal to dz, so we can replace all of them by dx, and we can change every y for an x and every z for an x, so this can then be rewritten as the integral from a to b of x squared dx plus x times x or 2x squared times dx plus x squared times dx. So you can see now we have nothing but x's and dx's. We can combine them all into one and the limits now will become x limits. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared plus 2x squared plus one other x squared that is 4x squared dx which is 4 times the integral of x squared dx from 0 to 1. Of course, that can be easily integrated to be 4x cubed over 3 from 0 to 1. And so this becomes equal to 4 over 3. And surprisingly enough, we get the exact same result as if we had traveled along path 1, 2, and 3, which we showed you on the, on the previous video. So in this case, it didn't make any difference whether or not we took path 1, 2, 3, or straight across from A to B at the angle, of course. And so, we get the same result either way, and that is how it's done. So you said that um, something's conservative? Yeah, so typically, for example, the gravitational force is a conservative force. So if you take an object and you lift it all the way up, and then you bring it all the way back down to the same point, the end result is you get zero. But in a non-conservative force, if you take a path up and you come back down, chances are that you may not get zero because it's non-conservative. So what's a non-conservative so, force? Well, well, there's different ways of checking whether or not this conservative or non-conservative. One of them is to do a line integral and see if you get the same result, regardless of what path you take. And that would then be considered a conservative force. Um, there's a few other ways to check it, but that escapes so me is, right now. What, oh. <laughs> An example of that is the gravitational force. It's your oh. most common conservative, conservative force. Well, non-conservative Well, non-conservative forces are kind of like forces that we drum up uh, as examples. Or let's see here. Can I think of non-conservative forces? Um, hmm. Well, magnet magnetic fields cause forces to exist on moving charges and depending upon the direction of the field that force will change if you travel all the way around a magnetic field you get a non-zero result which would indicate that's probably non-conservative force so whenever you travel a different path if it's a different answer does that definitely show or it's just an indication that it could be a conservative or not conservative force I think the best way to do it is if you travel any path and you get back to the same place as you started and you end up with a zero, then it would be considered conservative. If you end up with something other than zero, travel all the way around, get into the same place you started, then it's a non-conservative force. That's the best way to check it. What about the Jedi force? <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's that's weak. interesting. It's weak, it's weak in some of the... <laughs> All right.